Hello, rare gems. Are you tired of navigating the minefield of dealing with challenging personalities while trying to keep your cool? We've all encountered them, the ones we jokingly label as idiots, whether they're infiltrating our personal circles or lurking in our workplaces. But fear not, because mastering these encounters is not only possible, but transformative. Imagine handling these situations with the calm serenity of a monk, the strategic finesse of a chess grandmaster, and the unshakable demeanor of a cucumber. Picture dealing with them with the tranquil composure of a sloth, the cunning strategy of a raccoon, and the unruffled indifference of a pineapple. Sounds like a wild sitcom plot, doesn't it? Or perhaps seems like an impossible task, right? Not for the enigmatic Sigma females. Sigma females are in a league of their own. They're the introverted leaders, the lone wolves charting their course through life, unfazed by societal norms. Their silent strength and mysterious allure make them utterly captivating. They're the architects of their destiny, refusing to let anyone or anything disturb their inner peace, unless it's a sale on their favorite snacks. What's truly remarkable about Sigma females is their knack for navigating difficult people and situations with unparalleled grace. They have a unique approach to handling these challenges, a method that allows them to keep their cool, stay grounded, and emerge victorious. It's not about asserting dominance or winning pointless arguments. It's about safeguarding your peace of mind, sanity, and self-respect. And Sigma females, with their unconventional ethos, show us exactly how it's done. But here's the twist. These principles aren't exclusive to Sigma females. They're universal truths that anyone can embrace. Whether you identify as a Sigma, an Alpha, a Beta, or none of the above, there's wisdom to be gleaned here. So buckle up as we embark on this journey of self-discovery, armed with the tools to handle life's challenges with finesse. But before we unveil the Sigma female rules for dealing with idiots, let's first understand who Sigma females truly are. Often labeled as the loners among female archetypes, they're the ones who march to the beat of their own drums and relish their solitude. Sigma females are the introverted rebels, the silent observers, and the free thinkers of society. They don't crave validation or conform to societal standards. Instead, they carve their paths and live life on their terms. Their quiet confidence is magnetic, drawing others in with their enigmatic charm. Sigma females are also known for their analytical minds, their love for deep contemplation and their affinity for intellectual pursuits. When it comes to social interactions, Sigma females prefer quality over quantity. They prioritize meaningful connections and substantive conversations, investing their time and energy wisely. And when faced with difficult individuals, the ones affectionately labeled as idiots, Sigma females have a game plan. They refuse to let these encounters disrupt their inner peace or drain their precious energy. Now that we've unraveled the mystery of Sigma females, let's delve into their strategies for handling difficult people. These tactics aren't just effective, they're enlightening, offering profound insights into their unique worldview. So join us on this illuminating journey, and don't forget to show your support by liking, subscribing, and becoming a part of the Rare Gems community. A sanctuary for extraordinary individuals committed to empowerment and making a difference. Rule number one, remain serene and collected. In the intricate web of human interaction, keeping your cool isn't merely a suggestion. It's a fundamental principle, especially in a world brimming with various personalities, including the tough ones. Maintaining composure isn't just about enduring tough situations, it's about taking charge. Control over your reactions, emotions, and ultimately, the direction of events. When you're centered and collected, you're not just reacting, you're orchestrating deliberately. You're not giving in to others' whims, you're conducting your own symphony. Let's paint a vivid picture of this idea. Imagine yourself in a crucial meeting where a certain individual takes pleasure in pushing your buttons. They disrupt, provoke, and maybe even border on disrespect. It's tempting to let your emotions take over, responding with heightened aggression. But what's the result? It only adds fuel to the fire, derailing the discussion and handing control over to the troublemaker. However, maintaining your composure changes the entire dynamic. You refuse to feed their chaos. 
denying them the reaction they crave. Instead, you stay poised and focused, skillfully steering the conversation back on track, exposing their folly in front of everyone. This isn't passivity. It's a deliberate choice not to let external behaviors dictate your internal responses. It's a sign of maturity, professionalism, and most importantly, mastery over your reactions. And this principle isn't limited to professional settings, it's equally applicable in personal interactions. Whether dealing with a confrontational neighbor, a difficult family member, or a discordant friend, keeping calm and composed empowers you to navigate these encounters with grace and integrity. So remember, maintaining serenity isn't just a defense mechanism, it's your frontline weapon. It's your shield against the chaos of different personalities. It's your tool for asserting control, preserving your peace, and skillfully handling the challenging individuals you encounter. Rule number two, choose your conflicts wisely. Choose your battles wisely. Life can often feel like a battlefield, doesn't it? Each day presents us with conflicts, big and small, from workplace clashes to relationship tensions, even those trivial altercations with strangers. It's like we're in a constant state of combat. But just as a seasoned warrior would, the Sigma female grasps the vital importance of selecting her battles with precision. Imagine this. You're at work, pitching an idea in a meeting and suddenly a colleague shoots it down. Now, you could plunge into a heated debate, fiercely defending your concept. Alternatively, you could take a moment, listen to their viewpoint, and weigh whether this skirmish is truly worth your energy. Why does it matter? Well, every battle you engage in exacts its toll, your time, your vitality, your mental reserves. It's akin to pouring from your cup until it's left with mere crumbs. And let's be real. Constantly fighting on every front leaves you feeling depleted, stressed, and utterly overwhelmed. But here's the twist. Choosing your battles wisely isn't about backing down or being passive. It's strategic. It's about discerning the conflicts that genuinely matter, the ones that resonate with your values, your aspirations, your peace of mind. These are the battles that merit your undivided attention and effort. So the next time you teeter on the brink of a potential showdown, hit the brakes. Pause and ask yourself, is this skirmish truly worth it? Will it drain my time, my vitality, my serenity? If the answer leans towards a resounding no, perhaps it's wiser to holster your weapons and gracefully bow out. After all, not every battle is deserving of your combat. Rule number three, avoid personalizing situations. Don't let it hit home. Avoid personalizing situations. Here's a golden rule. Avoid taking things personally. One of the remarkable traits of a Sigma female is their knack for keeping their cool, even in the face of adversity. It might seem daunting, but it's a crucial skill for navigating a world packed with various personalities, including the occasional troublemaker. Imagine this. You're locked in a heated debate with someone. They're getting riled up, raising their voice, and tossing insults your way. Naturally, it stings, tempting you to retaliate with equal force. But here's where the Sigma mindset shines. Instead of letting those insults penetrate your psyche, you let them slide off like water off a duck's back. Why? Because those jabs, that aggression, it's not really about you. It's a reflection of their own inner turmoil, frustrations, and struggles with effective communication. Now, switch gears. Picture this. You've poured your heart and soul into a project, only to face harsh criticism. Ouch, right? It's easy to take it personally, to see it as an attack on your skills and worth. But here's where the Sigma approach steps in again. Don't take it personally. That critique isn't a judgment of your abilities. It's merely one person's viewpoint, colored by their experiences and biases. Avoiding personalization isn't about dismissing valid feedback. It's about discerning what's truly about you and what's about them. It's about grasping that people's actions and words often reveal more about them than they do about you. By embracing this mindset, you preserve your mental equilibrium. You sidestep unnecessary emotional upheaval and remain composed, focused, and unshakable. And by doing so, you're better equipped to tackle whatever challenges come your way, responding thoughtfully rather than reacting impulsively. So the next time you're bombarded with criticism or insults, remember, 
it's not about you, it's about them. Keep that mantra close, and you'll navigate storms with grace and resilience. Remember to show some love by clicking that like button, sharing this with your fellow adventurers, and hitting subscribe to join our vibrant Rare Gems community. Let's come together with like-minded souls committed to evolving and finding ourselves. A big shout out to our amazing current subscribers. Your steadfast encouragement is invaluable to us. Now let's get back to the video. Rule number four, be an active listener and speak sparingly. Master the art of active listening and use your words sparingly. Here's a timeless guideline. Listen more, speak less. Whether you're in a crucial negotiation or a casual conversation, these two components are pivotal, speaking and listening. While many excel at the former, it's the latter, the skill of listening, that truly distinguishes a Sigma female. Listening isn't merely about keeping silent while others talk. It's about genuinely hearing, comprehending, and digesting what's being communicated. It's about discerning the emotions and intentions beneath the surface. This is what we call active listening, a skill that demands practice and patience. It entails fully engaging with the speaker, grasping their message, responding thoughtfully, and retaining what's conveyed. So, how does this benefit a Sigma female? Well, when you prioritize listening over speaking, you glean deeper insights into those around you. You uncover their motivations, fears, and aspirations. Such knowledge is invaluable, equipping you to navigate social scenarios with a level of insight and empathy that others may lack. But there's another subtler advantage. By listening more and speaking less, you cultivate an air of mystery. People are drawn to those who possess an aura of enigma, those who don't lay all their cards on the table. By exercising restraint and opting to listen rather than dominate the conversation, you maintain a sense of intrigue that can heighten your allure to others. Moreover, when you speak less, you inadvertently project strength. Your inner workings remain a puzzle to others, and in that mystery lies respect and even a touch of apprehension. This enhances your influence, positioning you above others. Therefore, remember this golden rule when faced with challenging individuals. Keep calm, fold your arms, listen intently, and speak sparingly. Not only will it grant you deeper comprehension of the situation, but it will also help you sidestep needless conflicts while subtly asserting your power. You'll discover that many predicaments unravel themselves when you simply take the time to truly absorb what's being conveyed. However, let's not overlook the broader significance of this principle. It's not solely about handling difficult people. It's a universal guideline that can enhance all your interactions. It can elevate you as a friend, a colleague, and ultimately, as a human being. Listening more and speaking less can spare you myriad unnecessary complications and elevate your interpersonal finesse. Rule number five, steer clear of condescension. Ever felt that urge to roll your eyes and smirk when faced with someone you deem less intellectually inclined? It's a tempting itch to scratch, isn't it? But hold on a sec. Because here's where the Sigma female truly shines. Sigma females get that belittling others only stirs up trouble. Sure, it might give your ego a quick boost, but is it worth it? It's like adding fuel to a fire, making things even more heated. Instead, Sigma females take a different route, one filled with grace and empathy. They know that every person, no matter their smarts, deserves respect and kindness. It's about seeing the worth in everyone, regardless of their intelligence. So next time you're itching to make a snarky comment, pause and try the Sigma approach. Treat others with the same respect and understanding you'd want for yourself and watch as conflicts fade away and connections grow. Because in the big world of human interaction, kindness and empathy always win, shining brightly above petty disagreements. Rule number six, set clear boundaries. Let's delve into the art of setting boundaries. Imagine you're out on a serene boat ride, feeling the breeze in your hair and surrounded by endless waves. Suddenly, you notice water seeping in. What's your next move? Naturally, you plug the leak, right? You establish a boundary to safeguard your vessel from intrusion. Dealing with challenging individuals in your life parallels this scenario. You must set boundaries to prevent their negativity from infiltrating your peace of mind. 
Yet boundary setting isn't about isolation or erecting impenetrable walls. It's about understanding your limits, defining your comfort zone, and ensuring those boundaries are honored. Envision yourself as the captain of your ship, charting your course through life's waters. You dictate who comes aboard, how close they approach the helm, and when it's time for them to disembark. It's your voyage, your rules. For instance, suppose a co-worker continually dumps their workload on you, leaving you overwhelmed. Here's where boundary setting becomes crucial. You might respectfully assert, while I empathize with your situation, I have my own tasks to manage. At this time, I'm unable to take on additional work. Notice the balance? You acknowledge their circumstances while firmly asserting your limits. Remember, setting boundaries isn't selfish or harsh. It's an act of self-preservation and self-respect. It's about safeguarding your mental and emotional well-being, ensuring your resources are invested in endeavors that align with your values. So, Sigma females, listen up. You're not accountable for others' reactions to your boundaries. Your duty is simply to express them clearly and courteously. Establishing boundaries is a crucial stride toward maintaining your equilibrium and steering your life with purpose. In wrapping up, exploring how Sigma females navigate challenging encounters offers not just wisdom, but also a roadmap for confronting life's trials with elegance and fortitude. By prioritizing dignity over disdain, empathy over ego, and kindness over conflict, Sigma females embody a potent approach to human interaction. Their capacity to remain composed and uphold respect in adversity shines as a guiding light for all. So, as we glean insights from their strategies, let's recall that in the intricate tapestry of social dynamics, victory isn't solely about triumphing in battles. It's about nurturing understanding, growth, and connection. Through the perspective of Sigma females, we're reminded that genuine strength springs not from dominance, but from compassion, a vital lesson to embrace on our journey toward personal and collective harmony. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I appreciate your unwavering support, my favorite people. Don't forget to smash that like, share, and subscribe button. It means the world to us. Catch you in our next video. Until then, take care, and may blessings abound. Bye for now, and God bless.